All right, guys, Shotty T here. It is time for the last Abyss Karina challenge. Just to remind you guys what's up for grabs. You have uh, 9,000 tier three alpha shards. So that's basically one fifth of a tier three alpha. And then you have 12 tier two alpha, a million gold, which of course I always need gold. And then by association, that will also give me one fully formed tier three alpha, one tier six basic, 50 generic signature stones, six star, and then 25 six stone crystals. So quite a bit of rank four material and of course sig up material that is there for grab. So I've already set up my masteries. Um, as you can see, my units are pretty low. Um, I did at one point in despair. It looks like on offense, I did not change anything. I didn't take anything off of deep wounds. What I decided to do, um, because I only had one point in inequity and one point in um, resonate. So, so I, only, I took one point off of willpower uh, in order to make that happen. And then I took two points off of missing dispersion so that basically gave me the three points to put the one in despair the one in resonate and the one into inequity and, and these are the two red ones over there all right so the path that's one thing i didn't tell you guys during that preview video the path that i'm effectively taking is going to be path three which is the red path uh it's going to go down the middle loop dark hawk loop cage then it'll branch off Pretty much, if you saw the symbiote challenge, it's gonna be the same path I'm taking there. Uh, the only difference is I'm not going up the Green Goblin after I finish off the champion. I'm just gonna go from there. I'm gonna take the rest of the easy path uh, based on the, the left side border. Uh, so there'll be Cyclops, um, I think Loki, Aegon, Invisible Woman, followed by um, call obsidian and then the collector so that's the path we're going to take and as far as the team uh we're going to be taking i was deliberating this i think i pretty much indicated to you guys during the video who i was going to be taking guaranteed and then it was just a question is who would be the fourth and fifth option so Let's first highlight the options there. So we're definitely bringing Falcon. Uh, we're definitely bringing Shang-Chi. And we're definitely bringing um, Longshot. If I was a better She-Hulk player, I would bring She-Hulk instead of Shang-Chi for that Luke Cage fight and then find ways to use She-Hulk for some other fights. But I'm not... I mean, I did good in that gauntlet challenge with Vision, but Vision, man. But, yeah, that's what we're going to use here um, for those three. And then the other two, I had it slated for Ultron and Void, and I think that's what I'm going to go with. Because um, I was debating if I was going to use Warlock and Void, but Warlock damage output is not the same as Ultron's. If I'm bringing a void anyway, might as well. I mean, void was almost more of a uh, more of a lock because I need heal reversal. Cap with the tech synergy does apply. Um, what do you call those things? Uh, petrify debuffs, but they only have 25% potency, so you need four of them. Well, I guess with will with the spare, you probably just need three of them to start reverse healing, but it's hard to keep those up. So it's better to manage the heal reversal with heal fights such as the old man Logan. That's the main fight. And also, in a sense, the uh, Dark Hawk fight, which is the first fight. So so that's going to be who... This is going to be my team, guys. So this first fight... Not, and, oh yeah, one other thing. I haven't started the boost yet, so we still got time. The inventory that we're dealing with here... Um, I did grind for, I did, I probably could have potion form one more potion 
but we, this should be enough. We got 19 level 1 revives, um, plus 3 in overflow. We got 13 level 2, 4 level 3, and we got 17 revives plus another 7 in overflow. So that should be more than enough. And then we got a few team health potions there. Uh, we got some, we got a bunch of level three potions I used to train in store for that. So we don't have a lot of potions. We got a lot of level three, uh, but not a lot of potions. So the revives are gonna be my friend. So yeah, I think we're comfortable with that. So we're, we're committed to get this done, no matter what. Let's go ahead and get this first fight out of the way. This first fight might be its own video, and I'll make sure I do a better job of managing the memory for the fights. I know some fights will take longer than others. The Blue Cage fight might be its own video, uh, but let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and apply the big boy boost here. <clears throat> and we will also apply the big boy uh, attack boost. Since only got one of those, let's definitely use it for the first fight. Um, okay, so we have the resonate to add another debuff, so that'll help Void with this type of fight. You see the debuff damage there. This one that was just the bad spacing it's bad spacing there because I, I would need that block damage 31 percent makes it tough i mean this is not going to be a one shot if i had a rank three void i feel better about oh actually i don't think this is a one shot fight this is basically like a one revive fight but with a five six and five it might be a two revive fight so let's uh get back in there
That reverse heal. That was amazing. Forgot about that. You can throw the SP one and you can throw it. Could have got the one shot actually guys. Dang. Okay. Um we'll use a 60% here. Just give myself more health. Um and then we'll just use uh so we'll use the big boy health first. Okay. Yeah, we should finish this one. Dang, I could have had one shot.
All right. I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. All right, Luke Cage. I think I'm gonna actually record this part, but I'm gonna just speed through it in the recording. But I'll at least talk about the strategy early on. Um, and then we'll go to the fast recording. idea here is just to keep the slow active and we're not gonna obviously we're not gonna carry and we're not using the clearance debuff uh, thing Cycle makes him beat pretty much. critical point of this fight is whenever I get to the end of all the hits I could use is to manage the power gain. So Do. We're going to cash this out by throwing the SP2 and then we'll just restart the thing. we cashed out the SP2. Thank you. 
mean to do that. Keep the slow active, messed up the combo. Yeah, I just totally screwed, flubbed that one. Let's give ourselves some health boost. And we'll revive here. Again, we're gonna get the big boy revives out the way first. Obviously, that distraction threw my rhythm off. But that was my fault for not putting the not disturb on. Okay. Let's re. Management of the combos is the main thing here, guys. Um, and then I didn't even cash out the SB2. That was makes it more frustrating. I could at least took a, took 10% more if I got the SB2 off. Oh boy. Combos, man. The combos. You know what? I'm just use a 
I'm gonna use a team revive for this run, guys, because it's pointless to keep using individual revives. We're just gonna use my first team revive. Okay, I mean this is this is, this is your fight, Shang Chi. I mean, <laughs> this is your fight. I might have to just do the stun and the slow. I don't think I have time to do all do three of them, especially if the AI is not cooperative. I think that's what we do. Oh, my 
Ay. <risa> Ay. I'm gonna do one more team revive. As I said, those individual potions are gonna matter. Oh boy. This is sick. This is very sickening, man.
Oh boy, that was that. Ah.